have you ever felt trapped in an endless loop of absurdity where every path leads to confusion and despair this is the essence of the kafkaesque a world where logic is twisted and reality itself becomes a nightmare but what does it mean to live in a kafkaesque world and how is this reflected in the films we watch the term kafkaesque is derived from the works of franz kafka an early 20th century writer whose stories depicted nightmarish scenarios imagine waking up one day to find yourself on a trial for a crime you know nothing about or being transformed into a giant insect kafka's world is one of the bureaucratic absurdity existential dread and a sense of powerlessness at its core the kafkaesque explores the absurdity of modern life it reflects a world where individuals are caught in an incomprehensible system battling against faceless bureaucracies and arbitrary rules the feeling of being trapped of struggling against an omnipotent and indifferent system is what makes something kafkaesque one of the most iconic representations of the kafkaesque in cinema is terry gillian's brazil this dystopian film portrays a society suffocated by bureaucracy the protagonist sam lorry navigates a convoluted system that seems designed to crush the human spirit the absurdity of the paperwork the faceless authority and the inescapable surveillance echo kafka's vision orson welles adaptation of kafka's the trial is another brilliant cinematic exploration of the kafkaesque themes joseph k the protagonist is arrested and prosecuted by a remote inaccessible authority without ever being told what his crime is the film masterfully captures the surreal and oppressive atmosphere of kafka's novel leaving viewers with a profound sense of unease a serious man by the coen brothers also delves into kafkaesque territory larry gopnik a physics professor experiences a series of inexplicable misfortunes the randomness and absurdity of his suffering coupled with the indifferent responses of those around him mirror kafka's exploration of existential dread and the search for meaning in a seemingly indifferent universe the kafkaesque isn't confined to a single genre it permeates through the different styles of filmmaking from dystopian sci-fi to dark comedy it's about the universal experience of feeling lost in a world that doesn't make sense about the absurdity and the alienation that we sometimes face in our daily lives kafka's influence isn't limited to cinema his themes resonate deeply within literature as well consider george orwell's 1984 a novel that explores a dystopian world where individuality is crushed by an all powerful regime or joseph heller's catch 22 where the circular logic of war creates an inescapable trap for its characters these books much like kafka's work explore the sense of being ensnared by an indifferent and often hostile world in understanding of the kafkaesque we recognize a reflection of our own struggles with modern life it's a reminder of the absurdity we often encounter and the resilience required to navigate it through cinema and literature these themes come alive offering us a lens to explore the depths of kafka's vision and our own existence thank you so much for joining me on this journey through the kafkaesque in cinema and literature if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe for more philosophical explorations in film and books see you next time